The origins of mathematics date back to the prehistoric era in the concepts of numbers, magnitude, and form. Animals and humans were able to understand the difference between one and two apples, for example. These concepts were a part of everyday life for humans that lived in the hunter-gatherer societies that existed back then. Although the idea of numbers slowly evolved over time, it wasn't until the ancient Sumerians of Mesopotamia that mathematics became more complex. The Sumerians developed an intricate system of measurement around 3000 BC, and from 2500 BC onwards, the Sumerians created multiplication tables and dealt with geometrical exercises and division problems. They also had a sexagesimal numeral system, which 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and ETC are derived from. The ancient Egyptians came into existence 1,000 years after the Sumerians did. The Egyptians wrote numerous mathematical texts, but the most significant being the Rhine Papyrus which contained area formulas, methods for multiplication, work with unit fractions, prime and composite numbers, solutions to linear equations, and ETC. There was also the Moscow Papyrus, which consisted of the word problems we all know and love today. From 600 BC to 529 AD was the era of Greek mathematics, they were inspired by Egyptian and Babylonian mathematics, but were much more sophisticated than past cultures. The Greeks contributed much to mathematics, such as the base 10 numeral system, which had symbols for 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1000, which were repeated to represent the desired numbers and laying down the guidelines for the development of geometry. But the most important contribution of the Greeks was the idea of proof and the deductive method of using logical steps to pr prove or disprove theorems. Civilizations before had used repeated observations to establish rules of thumb, but this idea of proof gives mathematics its power, and ensures proven theories today will still be as true in hundreds of years. In the 9th century, Persian mathematician Muhammad Akwar Izmi was an early director of the House of Wisdom. Akwar Izmi made important contributions toward mathematics, including the invention of algebra. But his most notable contribution was his advocacy of the Hindu numerical system that used the symbols 1 to 9 and 0, which he recognized had the capability to revolutionize mathematics, and which was soon adopted by the entire Islamic world and later by Europe. During the Renaissance, the development of mathematics and accounting were entwined, and driven by the demands for better navigation, trigonometry grew into a major branch of mathematics. Furthermore, Pacoli introduced standard symbols for plus and minus, and Simon Stevens published his book, The Thumb, which contains the first systematic treatment of decimal notation. In the 16th century, the scientific revolution began. There was an unprecedented increase of mathematical and scientific ideas across Europe. Kepler successfully formulated the mathematical laws of planetary motion. Isaac Newton discovered the laws of physics and brought together calculus and Leohard Euler standardized many modern mathematical terms in notation, such as pi and the square root of negative one.
And finally, after centuries full of development, we ar arrive at the modern era, wherein mathematics has become increasingly abstract and mathematics has become a major profession. And for the first time, the limits of mathematics are being explored.